G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. We have some news, it's not breaking news, this happened about I think a day ago or yesterday. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers are inviting an XFL star to minicamp next week. So who is it? It is Hakeem Butler. So this was tweeted out by the XFL themselves, um, I guess, yesterday. So they got an alert thing there. They have XFL to the NFL. Um, you know, it could be a possibility we do see quite a few players from the XFL uh, joining the NFL. I did do a video, I think, a few weeks ago talking about how uh, teams uh, inquire for players and they invite them. So this isn't just like a, he, him just turning up. The Pittsburgh Steelers want him to come to camp. The Pittsburgh Steelers want Butler. They've invited him. They want to see what he can do. Now, uh, who is Butler? So I found this on SteelersNation.com. I'll read just a little bit, and I'll leave the article in the description. So shout out to you guys from SteelersNation.com. Uh, he's from Iowa State, 110 career receptions, over 2,100 yards, 18 touchdowns, right? Now, this is where it gets interesting. So he hasn't really had a shot in the NFL. He's drafted in the fourth round. It says here, but in Arizona, he's cut short due to injuries and suffered a broken hand and was waived by the Cardinals in 2020. So it kind of fell apart. It all fell apart in 2020, got injured. The Panthers, the Eagles tried him out. Uh, CFL tried him out too. Nothing was really happening until the XFL. So you're probably thinking, is he good? Is he good? Well, let's look at the stats. So Akeem Butler, first of all, he's like six foot six. He's a big fella. Um, I did watch, I did have time to watch a bit of highlights. He did kind of remind me like Megatron. I'm not saying he is Megatron. I'm saying like Megatron. Uh, kind of like a big body receiver can play like, you know, like he looks like a real fast tight end. If that makes sense. Like he's a bigger fella, six foot six. Uh, it kind of reminded me of a better Claypool as well, to be honest. But anyone's better than Claypool. So let's look at his stats. So in the XFL, he had 51 receptions, 599 yards, just one yard away from 600. 11.7 average, and eight TDs, right? Now, this was actually, uh, in the XFL, he was second. He was second best receiver uh, in these stats. Now, the, 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 the first guy, he had 60 receptions, 670, and four TDs. So Butler had the most TDs in the XFL, right? So you're probably thinking, why not give him a shot? And I agree with if you if you if you agree with that too. Now in the XFL, it's only it's only a ten game that's a ten game window. So unfortunately, the Battle Hawks didn't make it. Right, they didn't make it. Seven and three. Uh, sea Dragons made the playoffs, and I believe they got eliminated. It's now Defenders versus Renegades. Right, Battle Hawks didn't make it. Seven and three. So because they had the North and the South and, and that kind of stuff. So yeah, the XFL is giving a chance to Butler. And now the Steelers are giving a chance to Butler. But I did find one tweet that I really want to talk about. I really want to talk about this. I don't know the guy from Bar Soap. You can look at his stats all day. Look, the TDs are fantastic. But I want to bring this up because I think this is the most important part. The most important part. Now, if you can see that, hopefully you guys can. I, I try to blow it up best I can. This was actually a tweet or a message that Butler sent to the coach. Anthony Becht. Now, the XFL did a draft. His name didn't come up. He had he had no opportunity. However, Butler said, you know what? I'm going to reach out to the coach. And he did that. So he says here, good afternoon, coach. I know the draft has passed for the XFL, and teams may soon be filling up if they aren't already filled, filled. But I was wondering who to contact and how to go about possibly getting a roster slash camp opportunity. Just to show what I can do, any information at all would be great. I truly just want a chance to show that I can play, which I know I can compete at the highest level. I want to thank you in advance for anything you do. My information is all below. If you need anything else from me, you could always DM me back. Again, thank you so much for your time. So he wasn't even a part of the roster. He wasn't a part of the XFL. He had no team and he reached out to Beck and then Anthony Beck gave him that opportunity. And that chance led to this. That chance led to 51 receptions, 600 yards almost, and eight TDs. So all I'm saying in this video is 
I don't know if he's going to make the team. I don't know if he's going to make the Steelers or, or he's going to make a, a, any NFL team. But what it looks like is if you give this bloke a chance, an opportunity, you never know what might happen. Now, the second part is where would he fit? There's already a ton of receivers there. Pickens, Deontay, Calvin Austin, Miller, Robinson, a ton of guys. You have, you have four, five, six guys there. Uh, Miles Boken there too, where he plays teams, but he's there. You know what? If there's a spot on the roster, if the Steelers have 88, 89, there's one or two more spots, why not bring him in anyway? He seems like he's got a heart of a lion because he wants it that bad that he actually had to text the coach. You know what I'm saying? He reached out to the to the coach of the Battle Hawk and said, you know what? Is there any chance, any possibility I can have a have have a um a workout or a camp opportunity to show my skills? And now he has that chance coming back to the NFL, where he had the injuries in the past. He got cut by the Cardinals, uh, cut by Eagles and Panthers, no chance in CFL, CFL. And here we are sitting in 2023 with this bloke could possibly be a Steeler. Isn't that cool? I read this story when, when I read this story on Steelers.com or SteelersNation.com. I thought, what a fantastic opportunity or story if this does come true. But at the same time, like th there's there's a lot of receivers out there. There's Pickens. There's a ton of them. W where would he fit? We don't know where he's going to fit. But it would also improve the red zone game too. If you're bringing these stats... 51, 599, 8 TDs to this offense. That'd be fantastic. Anyways, guys, thank you for checking out Steelers Nation Australia. I know it's a bit of a long one. Uh, I'm recording this at nighttime, just about to head to bed. I'm a bit zonked out, but I wanted, I wanted to bring it up because you never know. Next week, we might see some good highlights from Butler. And yet again, he's got another chance to showcase his skills and also have a chance to come back to the NFL. All right, guys, I'll see you later on.